Hello guys. It has been such a hot minute since I've done an actual commentary video. Man, I love doing these the most. The issue with commentary videos is I like to do them with builds because it wouldn't really make sense with, you know, TikTok hacks, judging houses, etc. So I kind of have to wait till I make a house, which is what takes me the longest to do. But anyway, this is a spring house. Isaac helped me with the exterior. As usual, he always cooks up something good for me. So it's been a good month since my last commentary video. So I want to tell you guys what's been going on. If you follow me on my social medias, I went on a cruise, which was so much fun. I love vacations. I love cruises. Before any of you were like, what if this ship sinks? Listen, if a ship sinks on a cruise ship, I'm just blaming natural selection and that's my time to die, okay? You literally don't feel the boat move at all. It's so calm, so chill. They're my favorite vacation because, you know, there's a mall, there's a casino, there's a pool. You get to go to different islands. There's games, ice ring, basketball ring, pool. Like, it's got everything. The best part about cruises too is you get to meet so many people. I'm a big talker sometimes. I kind of switch between introvert and talker. When I'm on vacations, I kind of try to put myself out there to meet people because you know you're on vacation you usually look your best you're the most tan and i always plan good outfits because i want to look good on vacation so i'm like i'm gonna put myself out there i'm gonna make friends i'm gonna talk to everyone on this cruise i ended up making two friends and it was really cool because i've been on cruises before but you know because i have siblings we kind of keep to ourselves in a little group and we just do our own thing but this time we ended up making friends so we would do a bunch of stuff together i'm trying to give a good comparison so you're on a cruise ship for seven days and there's around five to six thousand people so just imagine living in one of those Netflix shows or a college campus where you kind of just start seeing the same people consistently. So it's like there's the designated areas that you guys start to remember. It's like meet at this place, meet at meet at the promenade, meet here, meet here, like do this. You start building a routine and you just start to do fun stuff together. So we would spend the day together. We would play pool volleyball, you know, get chips and queso because you know there's a Mexican bar, it's unlimited food. Then we would meet before dinner, take pictures, have fun. Just it's like running around a hotel with your friends. Like we would just run around the hotel, go into elevators, just mess around it was so much fun my favorite part about this trip i'm a fashion girly i feel like if you watch my videos you know this by now i plan my outfits for everything i'm a very i like to be planned ahead i like to schedule things i like to know what's going on so the trip was in january and we booked it last january so for the past year i've been slowly accumulating outfits for this trip i got matching shoes for each outfit so i had different shoes for every outfit i'm extra okay so every night i was looking forward to going to dinner because when you go to dinner on this cruise it's fine dining so you get to dress up so i was like okay i have this outfit for this day, this day, this day. And I'd be like, on the first day, I'm gonna be the most pale. So I need to get an outfit that corresponds to being the most pale, so on. So I would just put on a bunch of outfits. If you wanna see all the outfits, they're on my Instagram. But the cruise was so much fun. I had a great time. This is another story. My family, we do only cruises. Once we started doing cruises, we don't really switch to anything else because they're just so good. So last year we went on a cruise. I love jewelry, okay? So we went to this jewelry place in the cruise ship and there was a guy working there. And me and him, we became friends right off the bat. Like, you know, the vibes just, we just matched. We were always talking like we both had a shared like for certain things and we talked so it was funny because he was on the boat we were on last time and then he ended up getting transferred to the boat we were going on this year so i got to see him again which is cool because you know usually people you meet on a cruise you never see them again because you know everyone's from different places everyone's from different countries different backgrounds so you get to meet so many people so when i got to see him again it was like oh my god i just got to see my long distance friend because we kept in touch like we exchanged social medias and stuff let me just say men on vacations really up my standards me and this guy, I'd always see him at nighttime because that's when the jewelry stores open. So I would like visit him. We'd say hi and like hang out and whatever. And on the last day of the cruise, he snuck out of the jewelry store to give me something. And he's like, don't open this until you're far away from the jewelry store because he doesn't want to get caught. So I was like, okay. So I walk away from the jewelry store and I open what he gives me. He got me a pair of diamond earrings. Ah! Hello? Sorry, what? I was stunned. I was like, there's no way a man just did that. Like, men points have just been gained. The cruise before that, there was a diamond raffle. So if you bought a piece of jewelry, they put you in a raffle to win a diamond necklace. And I won that one. He gave me the earrings to match the necklace that I won last year. I was like, whoa, whoa. Are we about to kiss right now? And on the topic of men, you know, I don't really talk about guys and stuff on my page just because, you know, I don't want them to see it. For me, I think because I work at home and I do all this stuff, you know, I don't really have much experience in uh, confrontation or meetings with guys. So it's kind of rare for me to, you know, be talking to a guy. Because of this, it stemmed this issue where I never know if I actually like a guy or not. I overthink it. I'm like, do I like him? Do I want to be with him? Is this right? Is this right? And I overthink. Also, let's keep this in mind. I have very high standards. I read romance books. I'm currently reading a Kotar. I'm on the third 
third book, which I still need to really finish. I have like 50 pages left, but I, I started getting bored of it, so I put it down and then I didn't finish it, but I'm trying to finish it. But anyway, I'm a romantic. I love romance. I'm about high standards. You know, I expect these men to be like the book boyfriends that I read about. And then you come back to, you know, college. And if you don't know this, people in college kind of don't really value relationships and they don't value the same things you would read in a romance book because everyone's kind of there to just party and mess around, which that's fine. You know, you're young, do whatever you want. But for me, like, I just can't do that. That's not something I'm into. I don't know if I like someone until I really get to know them. Like, it's personality. Obviously, you know, attraction and looks, you know, that obviously starts, ignites the pull towards each other. But for me, I can't be in love with you or like you until I know your personality. That kind of causes an issue because in college, guys don't really want to be friends with girls. It's like you're, you immediately go into a talking stage, which there's nothing wrong with that. But for me, I don't like feeling pressured or stuck in between like this restriction of like, okay, if I start talking to this guy and I want to be friends with him, he wants to date. So then I feel really scared and I'm like, uh oh, then I get scared and I'm like, okay, I got to get out of here. Like I got to exit as fast as possible because I don't know what's going on. I'm scared and I want to back out. The whole point of this topic is I'm going to tell you a little story. I really hope he's not watching this. I met this guy in October, a long time ago now. In October during Halloween, I went out to a club because you know, that's what people do on Halloween. You go out and you party, you do whatever. Me as a person, I go out to party with my friends. I don't like the whole, you know, like dancing with random people because I'm a very emotional, intimate relationship person. Like I need to know you. I need to have a connection. I need there to be something because a lot of people at clubs, they just make out with people and like, that's fine. That's, you know, do what you want, but that's just not me. And guys try to do that. So I'm always on guard. I don't, I don't really interact with men. At the time, I went out to the club with my friend and my brother and his friends. So we went to the club and we were having a great time. Like it was Halloween, we were all partying, having a great time. And this guy comes up to me, he's like, hey, you're cute. And I was like, uh oh, what do I do? I don't have experience with this stuff. Like this is this is new to me. My brother steps in, he's like, get away from her. Don't, don't talk to her. Cause he's very overprotective, okay? Which is fine, that's, that's fine. So me and the guy, like we talked a little bit. The first red flag I should have seen, one, meeting him at a club. Two, he asked for my Snapchat. This is my mindset, right? You're never gonna find your husband or a man that you're gonna date at a club or a bar or any of those places and obviously you know this is different for everyone so it could not be the case but for me i have that mindset like i'm not gonna find a dude in these places so i thought he was cute right you know what i'm gonna give him a chance i just gave him my snap i didn't really like stay around him that much because i was with my friends and i think it's very important if you're going out with your friends you gotta stay with your friends don't leave him for a guy you know whatever he added me on snap i didn't add him back because i was like oh i met him at a club that's kind of weird and my friend was like noelle don't add him back you met him at a club he probably did that to so many other girls and i was like you're right you're right i didn't add him back and then five just days later i was like you know what hmm i'm kind of bored <laughs> let me add him back for the plot and mind you he was really cute like he was a very attractive man so i added him back we ended up talking on snapchat which i don't really use snapchat so i i respond really really slow at this time we were talking and he doesn't go to college where i go to college which is where the club was it's like the college area he went to a different college but he was transferring to my college this semester and now i don't like long distance there's just so many factors so i wasn't gonna pursue anything and plus guys i met this guy at a club i, I was not thinking anything of the future so i was like whatever you know, we just had a short conversation and then we had each other on Snapchat, obviously. But I don't use Snapchat, so like I just never texted him. So fast forward to, I would say a month ago when my winter semester started, I was in the library going to hang out with my friend and I saw him and I was like, oh shoot, I forgot he was transferring this semester. So I went up to him and I talked to him. Yeah, so then he started texting me again and he asked to hang out. We ended up hanging out and mind you, here's the thing. I like being friends with the guy before anything else, before a talking stage, before dating, whatever, because, because I just need to know how they're gonna be like personality-wise and I need to know what their intentions are because I don't like men's intentions in college if you know what I mean so we hung out a few times and he had a great personality I really liked hanging out with him and I was kind of realizing you know I actually have feelings I think I like this guy which is rare because I feel like I never have feelings for any guy I'm always like do I like him do I like do I like this person do I and I never know but then I was kind of like oh I kind of miss him like oh I think I like him so we kept hanging out and he was doing everything right you know for me before I start dating someone when we're talking quote-unquote talking I don't know what you call it I like like to have a checklist in my head of my standards and what I want a guy to do so when we're in a relationship I know how they're gonna be like and there were certain things he would do that kind of made me like I think I deserve better I was just in my head like my future husband would never do this to me and it wasn't even big deal things it was just little things that kind of bothered me now I'm a romantic okay so about two weeks into talking it was Valentine's Day right so me personally I was kind of expecting something because it's Valentine's Day you know I, got, I want flowers I want something and the entire day he just said nothing and I was like huh this is kind of weird and I'll lay out another few factors for you, right? He followed random Instagram models, which, all right, listen, I understand maybe in eighth grade doing that, but if you're in college following random girls, red flag. I don't like that stuff. 
I'm an old fashioned, you know, only eyes for the girl. Those things kind of bothered me, but I, I swept them under the rug. I was like, you know, it's fine. We just started talking. Like we're not dating. It doesn't matter. Then as time went on, we would be texting. He just texted really dry, which there's nothing wrong with being a dry texter because we'd have great conversation in person, but we wouldn't see each other for days and days because we're both busy. Like I have YouTube, I have school, he had school, etc. So we just couldn't really see each other. And when we didn't see each other or hang out, I was just kind of having this room for interpretation. Like, oh, he's not, he's talking to me like a friend. Like he's not really putting an effort. And another thing was I value compliments. Okay. I love compliments. And if I'm talking to a guy, I'll always compliment them. And he never complimented me. So I was like, mm, what's going on here? Because I remember I was the one being chased. I remember he was going after me. And now it feels like I'm going after him. And I was like, no, 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 this is not going to happen if we're in a relationship. This just feels very one-sided now. I was kind of thinking it over in my head and I was like, maybe I'm just overthinking. So I was telling Annex and Isaac about it. And Annex was kind of like, girl, you're just overthinking. You're not dating yet. No big deal. But the thing is, I think you should put the effort before you're dating to show what you're going to be like when you are dating. When you're dating, it just amplifies what you already have, but you should be showing the factors of what you want to do in a relationship when you're talking to that person. I'm a loyal person. I only talk to one person at a time. I don't have a roster. I don't do that stuff. That's no. So there were a few red flags. The whole Valentine's Day thing really made me sad. I was kind of looking forward to that, but don't worry guys. I had my own Valentine. My best friend, she came to my house. She brought me flowers. Like the standard is already there. My best friend, she's amazing. She buys me gifts, which my love language is gift giving. Okay. And that's so weird to tell a person. They're like, what's your love language? <laughs> I like receiving gifts. I was very unsure of what was happening. I was like, I don't know if I want to date this person because in my head, I was like, my future husband would never do this stuff. So I don't think I want to date this person because I don't think a relationship would be good. He doesn't talk to me like he likes me. He just talks to me like I'm there at his disposal, which is not. I feel like I'm a very high value woman. You know, I work hard. I'm independent, good grades. Let's flex it a little bit. I'm a Roblox YouTuber. I think that's cool. I just felt very underappreciated. I was like, you know what? I need a sign. So I went to bed that night. And I was like, give me a sign that if I shouldn't be with this person. And now, mind you, we would hang out during school on like Tuesdays and Thursdays because we had a break. So I texted him. I was like, hey, do you want to hang out on this day? He's like, oh, I can't. Sorry. Fine response. But it was just kind of a eh response. You know, I kind of expected like, oh, I can't hang out right now, but we should hang out another day. You know, something open ended. It was just, oh, I can't. Sorry. So I was like, you know what? This is a sign that I shouldn't be with him. The thing is, if I'm already overthinking and I'm questioning things while we're talking, that's kind of a problem. And now the issue was I really liked him. Really, really liked him. So for this time, I really tried to push everything under the carpet and I was like, you know, it's fine. It's fine. But then I was like, if I'm letting this slide now, what's it going to be like if we do date? So I was like, you know, I can't do that. So I ended up telling him, I don't think I can do a relationship right now, blah, blah, blah. He agreed, which I thought it was going to be good. I thought that meant we were going to end on good terms because the thing was, right, he doesn't live here. He lives multiple hours away. So I wouldn't see him in the summer and in the winter break because, you know, you go home. And I was like, I don't want to do long distance. Like there's just a lot of factors. And if he's not being an ideal boyfriend right now, now, what's gonna happen when this and this happens and also I met him in a club like let's just keep that in mind right I met him at a club and just keep this in mind because it's gonna make sense later right when I told him that he agreed with me he was like yeah I totally agree there's things that wouldn't work out blah blah and he was like we should be friends and I was like yeah we should be friends because I liked hanging out with him I genuinely liked hanging out with him and I didn't want to lose him as a person because you know also we could just keep hanging out as friends and then maybe in the future we could like talk about the issues and then work it out in the future and then maybe date so I was like okay let's be friends so then the next day I texted him I was like do you still want to hang out during school, blah, blah, blah. He was like, yeah, if I finish my homework, yes. So I wait till the next day. He never actually lets me know if he can hang out. He never lets me know if he finished his homework. He just kind of left me hanging. And I was like, oh, the energy really switched here because at once I told him, you know, I just want to be friends, even though he suggested it, the whole, like, he just didn't care anymore. And you know, to me, that's kind of a red flag because that means you don't value me as a person. You just valued me as like a girlfriend. I was like, okay, whatever. Now this is the issue with Snapchat, right? There's snap score and there's location. And I don't check those because I just, they're very damaging mentally it's just not a good idea so i just never checked it you know i had feelings for him and we hadn't talked in a few days so i was checking his location and i saw him going out to a bar and i was like okay whatever and then later in the day i saw his location at a random apartment that wasn't his and i was like yep this is what happens like i think i dodged a bullet it's okay so yeah i was very sad um because you know i liked him i had feelings for him even though i ended it yes i can still get hurt okay i have decided after seeing that that i will not be talking to him anymore and not snapping him because I don't want to be seen as like now I just felt like a burden he wasn't texting me anymore like he wasn't given the energy which that's fine but I also don't want to be another one of the girls on his roster because I believe he does have one so I was like you know what I'm gonna take myself out of the race and I'm just not gonna talk to him anymore that's what I did I'm not a person that shares my feelings so I thought why don't I just do it in a YouTube video because I feel like I let out my thoughts in YouTube videos so you know I thought I'd talk about it here that's what's been going on very interesting one thing that I am happy about is that I realized I can have feelings for someone, I can
can like someone. That's very rare, but it happened. I was like, oh, okay, this is good. I am a little sad about it now, but I know I will move on. He was not blonde and he was not tall. So don't worry, my future husband is still out there. <laughs> I have finally finished the kitchen. I redid the colors as you saw when I was building so many times. I went from pink to green to yellow. So now I got this. We kind of went for a little bit of a peachy blue color scheme because you know, I think that's kind of spring. You know, a nice little introduction into the summer weather. I took a screenshot and I showed it to Annex and Isaac, bro. Did I cook? And he goes, honestly though, it looks all the same to me. Ah. What does he mean all the same? These are custom. These are all handmade with my hands in my mouse. All of this, I sweat so hard. And I think the total footage that I have of just this kitchen is eight hours. So I finally finished this front area. At least I think so. I keep randomly adding stuff because I'm just indecisive. But this is how it's looking. I'm pretty proud of myself. You know, we didn't really use much pink. If you want to get technical, yes, there is some pink, but the main color is not pink this time. It's orange and blue which is pretty rare. You know, this is not normal on the French Roses channel. We've unleashed more of a flowery theme and I made this custom door with this wreath looking thing. I have to figure out what to do up here, which I'm gonna figure that out eventually, but I do wanna start this room. Since this house is really, really tiny, which thank goodness for that, I'm not gonna use the upstairs just because this is such a tough spot to get to. So what this room is gonna be is a combined living room and a bedroom. And I think I did this in my five by five house. You know, we're kind of going smaller and smaller each time, but hey, listen, this isn't five by five this is this is bigger so i went on tiktok because i wanted to do you know a custom bed design so i'll show you what i found also also a lot of people in my videos keep asking what my pinterest is this is my pinterest it's called barbie's kit and twyla i'll link it in the description so if you want to follow it i post outfits and stuff and then occasionally builds but if you want to see more of my aesthetic check out my pinterest but anyway I saw this bed, whatever this is called, footboard, headboard, just looks so good. Since it has this flower outline, I think it would match super well with, you know, the theme of my house right now. So we're gonna build it. I'm supposed to be doing a homework assignment as we speak, and I'm actually supposed to be in a class right now, but <laughs> I drove to the class. I was in the parking lot, and mind you, it takes me 25 minutes to get to this class, right? <laughs> I sat in the parking lot, I was like, uh, I just, I'm not feeling it. I'm gonna go home, because I had a really bad headache. I get bad migraines, so I have had one i felt it coming on i was like you know what it's just not worth it to stay at school today i'm gonna go home so i just drove back home i wasted a ton of gas but like it's fine it was a three hour class too so trust me it is better that i did not go because i would not want to sit there for three hours straight i think i would lose my mind and my brain cells combined i think if you're a part of the da roaches french roses faulty annex viewership base we've been recently saying chat a lot so i started saying it so much that it's, it's become part of my daily vocabulary and i started saying it in person i would start saying it around my best friend and me and her she started saying it now and it's so funny because she doesn't really play video games or do much you know like twitch watching and stuff but we'll just be out doing random stuff and she'll be like chat is this real chat does she want me and i'm like oh my god <laughs> i've created a monster we were at a club a couple days ago and these two people were like making out aggressively i was like guys time and place please please so she looked at me and she goes chat is this real it was just funny because one the situation was kind of weird like dude why are you showing pda in public and then two it was like her saying yeah i was like oh my god this is so funny chat is this real it's the little things you know that's how you know you guys are close friends when you start saying what the other person says all the time then i stopped talking so i'm gonna give you a little summary of what i did basically i was doing this bed and i wanted to make it custom so i added this decal the decal can't curve so i had to get really tiny polaroid picture decals to cover up the one gap in the bed that didn't have the decal and i was trying to do some wall detailing but that didn't really work out too well so i just made it blue wait did i make it blue i'm commentating this as i can't see the thing so i'm gonna assume it's blue wait uh, no 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 it's white i turned it white i used picture frames and then i used structural beams or the rods and i just traced squares to make it look like paneling oh my gosh this is so off topic recently i've been in this phase where i really want to change up my hair so originally i was thinking brown with pink tips on the bottom so it's pretty subtle because if you guys know who briar beauty is from ever after high i love that show and she had the cutest hair and the hairstyles i feel like my personality and my persona or whatever you want to call it like my aesthetic and my style kind of resonates with her and then also ashlyn ella i think i'm a mix of both of them and ashlyn ella has golden brown hair kind of similar to mine but a little bit lighter and then briar beauty has dark hair 
with pink streaks. So recently I was like, hmm, I kind of want to try doing pink streaks in my hair. But the thing is, I know that if you bleach your hair and then do pink, it fades really fast. So it would look kind of weird after a while. And mind you, I wash my hair every day, so I don't think it would last long. And then my other idea was getting this sort of auburn brown with highlights in the bottoms. So the top of my hair would be darker, but then the bottom as it goes down, it gets lighter and there's different colors of brown. So I was debating on doing that. But it's so scary because once you do it, like you have to commit to it. And the thing is, it costs a lot of money to dye your hair too because you know all the products and then you got a tip and blah blah so i'm trying to really think if i want to do it or not once you do it it's a commitment right you can't just dye your hair and then change it back you have to kind of wait for it to fade a few years ago i did blonde highlights or not blonde caramel highlights those did not go away for a good two years it was so subtle where when my hair was straight you couldn't even tell my hair was dyed but whenever i curled it you could see the blonde so clearly it was weird but it was also cool i don't think i'd do that again because i think i look better with darker hair so i was debating you know darker hair with the highlights so what do you guys think i should do i think the brown with a little bit of the darker highlights would be better just because it's more natural and subtle where the pink is kind of bold and if i have pink hair i kind of have to match all my outfits to pink <laughs> The house has been finally completed. The plot name is Cheeseball. Generally, I can't even explain it, but the value is 210K. I'm saying it now just because I usually forget to say it. Let's take a look at the exterior. So the theme of this was basically a spring cottage, you know, entering from the cold of winter to spring. So I went for more subtle colors to kind of show that transition. So, you know, I think of cherry blossoms and orange and pink peonies. That's kind of the color scheme we went for. On the side of the house, we have this little sitting area porch so you can have a cup of tea, enjoy your day. But it's on the smaller side but listen it's for the timely sake so this is a decal right here so when you open the door <laughs> listen guys it's for decorative purpose okay so here's what the inside looks like i kind of went for a parisian apartment so the colors kind of try to match that you know the blue sky and then the orange for the orange flowers so here's the kitchen and i want it to be super floral since you know spring flowers i really wanted to do floral pattern cottage core here's a little sitting area i did go for a lot of detail in this kitchen just because i wanted it to feel full so there's a lot of dishes everywhere and flowers little decorations i staged it with some food too i did use a lot of decals to kind of accentuate the kitchen so this is kind of just some wall trim design decal i got that from mugsy's inventory i'm gonna link his account in the description as well as ellie decals i used some of hers too these are all custom by the way i drew these with my hands my mouse it took me so long but it turned out really nice and it added a really nice dimension and depth to the kitchen so it just looks more 3d and more realistic you could say and also we need to look at this detail right i put a decal on the ceiling because if you watched my last video, Muggsy and Lurney did that in one of my houses. And I was like, that's a really cool idea. I want to try doing that. So I did. And we have a bunch of flowers that match the color scheme to tie in with the whole cottage vibe. And then I made these custom doors and there's flowers on it, like a wreath. Here's the bedroom slash quote unquote living room, even though there's really no living room. But hey, listen, my build, my rules, we're going to call this a living room. And since, you know, we're kind of going with the Paris theme, I did more fashion related decals. Then we have like a Paris scenery TV. So it looks like they're watching a show of Paris on the screen. We have bakery looking decals to kind of tie in with the Paris theme because you know when I think of Paris I think of croissants, Eiffel Tower, blue, light pink, orangey. These are all custom dressers with basic shapes and structural. This is a kind of a makeshift desk so you can use it as a dresser but then there's also a desk so you can do your work on it. Always the little post-it notes, the bows because you know we love bows. This bed design was from a TikTok. They had a bed frame decal so I just ended up taking that so that was pretty cool but yeah everything's kind of custom as of recently. I've been really against using default items just because I don't know. Once you start using custom like you can't use default items because then they just don't go together and then it looks weird. But here's the bathroom. This is kind of a low effort bathroom as you could tell by the shower <laughs> like the corner shower is low effort but it's okay and then i basically took these sinks and then i added basic shapes to make it look more realistic and fit the theme of what we already had and then there's more flowers more wallpaper and then i just kind of did a different wall trim design up here to differentiate the area and yeah this is the tiny cottage this took me about a week to do i would say it combined maybe 20 hours but mind you i'm a really slow builder so that's pretty normal it turned out really nice we even have the high ceilings up here i didn't really do much just because you can't can't really see it so i just added wallpaper and then some lights so it's not dark up there and yeah i like how it turned out a lot this is definitely my warm-up into spring builds i definitely want to do some more i feel like it's been a hot minute since i've done a build in general so this is a good getting back into it i definitely want to make some type of modern summer house next so we'll see anyway thank you guys for watching i hope you like this build i will see you in the next video bye guys you know you love me XO, XO. french roses girl